SPMADS facilitates easy creation of models. The project left panel is open by default when you create a new file or load an existing file. Here, you can enter or modify various project properties and information. The icons in the ribbon let you enter different scopes of the program. To create multiple grid lines at once, click the Generate icon. Enter, number of grid spaces times grid interval, in the grid spacing box. You can also create grid lines at multiple intervals by separating the grid intervals by space. After you are done entering the coordinates press Enter. You can create slabs using the slab scope. Rectangular, circular or polygonal slab shapes are available. To draw a slab shape using the mouse, select the desired tool and click on the workspace to begin drawing. Move your mouse until the desired size is achieved and click again to finish. Slab shapes can also be created by using the dynamic input box. To display the dynamic input box, press enter, or simply start typing. This time, type in the width and height for the rectangular slab and press enter to finish drawing. The select scope can be used to select and edit various items in your model. Objects in the active viewport can be edited using the tools available in the left panel toolbar. To merge slabs, select the slabs that you want to merge and click the Slabs Merge tool. To offset a slab, select it and click the Slabs Offset tool. In the input box that appears, specify the offset distance and press Enter. The Snap Drafting mode provides a way to specify precise locations within the viewport. It is also possible to split the slab into different parts by using the Split tool. Click on the screen to specify the start point of the cutting line. Next, click on the screen to specify the end point of the cutting line. You can quickly change the properties of an object by selecting it and editing its properties in the left panel. Let us add some columns. If you have already defined a column type in the Definitions dialog, simply select it from the Label drop-down menu in the left panel. You can assign multiple columns at once or assign them individually by clicking on the model. You can use the node scope to create standalone nodes. Nodes can be created one at a time, or many at a time in linear and circular patterns. The ortho drafting mode constrains cursor movement to horizontal or vertical direction. SP mats also allows adding of restraints in form of nodal springs in slaved nodes. Using the load scope, you can assign area and point loads to the model. SP mats allows users to add to existing loads or replace them completely. Area loads can only be assigned to slabs. Note that downward forces have negative values. Thank you for watching. Please visit structurepoint.org for more information.